Hillary holds nothing back in her airing of grievances, except maybe some self-awareness. As a matter of fact, you may say what happened reads like a clinical look into Clinton's five stages of grief. Denial, anger, bargaining, depression, and finally, acceptance. Usually people go through the stages alone or with the help of medical professionals, but for whatever reason, Hillary Clinton has decided to force millions of American readers to travel her grief spiral with her. Um, well, I have the book. We got it. It's called What Happened? Andy, do you feel up for a dramatic reading? I think if anyone knows anything about me is that I'm always up for a dramatic reading. I do know that about you, yeah. and so am I. Yeah. Um, I thought because this is such a um, sort of cathartic process, sure. uh, if, if you read it, we'll put on our little yeah. psychologist. Oh, there we go. We'll see. Make sure the mic is still good. OK. <laughs> Ready? This is good for our dramatic reading. On to depression. <clears throat> Bill was watching Trump's speech on television. He couldn't believe it. Neither could I. Eventually, everyone left, and it was just us. I hadn't cried yet, wasn't sure if I would, but I felt deeply and thoroughly exhausted, like I hadn't slept in 10 years. Same. We lay down on the bed and stared at the ceiling. Bill took my hand, and we just lay there. <laughs> you know, if there was one thing that could make this book more painful to read, it's the image of Hillary Clinton and her philanderer husband lying side by side holding hands in bed. At least they're holding Thanks hands. Thanks for that. <laughs> I actually hadn't heard yet yet, and I'm, I'm wincing. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's pretty, it's pretty, it's it's pretty painful. Again, like I said, if you're tuning in and wondering what the hell we're doing, we are doing a dramatic reading of Hillary's book, aka The Five Stages of Grief.